We may not be born xenophobic, racist, sexist, and so on, but as soon as we're old enough to learn that people are different than us, as soon as we get an even vague understanding of what those differences are, it is in our instincts to become xenophobic and racist and sexist and so on, especially if, at those ages, we hang around other kids who have those same types of biases. And then at that point, we start becoming tribal. We have to continually work against and teach against those instincts. Even more importantly, to try to route those instincts to things that aren't as harmful. But this sort of thing is why All in the Family got canceled. It's one of the reasons. It's because Archie Bunker was becoming a role model instead of being a despicable type of character that was relatable, but uh, but his character was all about just trying to show what's wrong with being that kind of person. That's why there's so much programming, especially when you look at uh, 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 PBS or something like that, and educational programming. So much of it is about trying to get us out of the mindset of just jumping to conclusions right away, just immediately going with our gut about things. This isn't to say that sometimes our gut instinct isn't right, but we shouldn't rely on it for just every day-to-day -day things. And when we're dealing with other people, we have to use our brains. And so this is why when people promote mindsets that essentially celebrate those instincts without them being bridled in any way, without them being regulated, you know, self-regulated in any sort of way, is viewed rather negatively, and, and some people want to censor that type of thing. It doesn't matter how peaceful someone is in the way that they talk about these things either. It's the fact that these elements to our instincts are being celebrated without, without anything in place to keep it from becoming something really awful. And let's make no mistake about it, the left have been rather out of control lately in their fight against the celebration of our bigoted instincts. And some of them are being just as bigoted as what they claim to be against. Like when some of them spout that white people are oppressive just by their very nature. And let's be clear, nobody really sheds a tear when people like that get censored. People like that should probably get censored more than they do. Bigotry like that coming from any side shouldn't be put up on a pedestal. When thinking about it though, it would seem that sports is a good way of routing those bigoted instincts and those tribal instincts in a way that isn't very harmful. I mean, we can see sometimes that people go over the top, that there have been riots and stuff after, after this team loses or this team wins or whatever, but uh, for the most part, you know, it's, it's a structured way of handling these, these things about ourselves. And, uh, well, it's hard to complain about that.